How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today we finally have the update information video about update 11. In this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the over an hour long live stream that I just watched that was all about the update 11 for Forza Horizon 4 that we're going to be getting this week. As usual, there's loads of new festival playlist cars. We've got the brand new month festival playlist. There's new features, new stuff like that, fixes and also information about the next update as well. This video will be split up into groups. We're going to talk about the festival playlist and the new cars and then the new features and then the fixes and the future stuff and bunch of stuff like that. So if this video has been helpful, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. But anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this month's update. So starting with this month's festival playlist and all of the new cars that have been added. There's a total of eight brand new cars being added to the game this month and most of them are really good, which is good to see. Let me quickly go through the festival playlist and show you the new cars as we go along. For the whole season at 50% complete, you'll get the Bugatti T35C, which is a car that was already in the game. And then at 80%, you can get a brand new shirt, which is I Beat the Stig. Now into the season specifics. For summer, at 50% completion, you can get the Alien Morph Suit. And at 80% completion, you can get the Maserati MC12 FE, which is also already in the game. And then there's also the chance to get the DS3 Racing as well, if you want that again. Now for autumn, which is where we have some of the new vehicles. At 50% you can get the new Chevy Impala, the Super Sport at 50%, that is one of the new cars. At 80% you can get the Pontiac GTO, which is not a new car but it's exclusive I'd say. And then also in autumn, through championships, you'll have the possibility to get the, the Mercedes-Benz X-Class, the BMW M3 GTR and the Nissan GTR 1995, which are old cars but also rare. And another new car that's available in autumn is the McLaren 12C Coupe. This is available in autumn through a championship. Now on to winter, we have another new car, which is the Koenigsegg CCX, which is available at 50% completion in winter, which is the third week. And then at 80% completion, you can get the Regera. I don't think there's many exciting exclusive championship cars for this month, for this week, sorry, but whatever. On to spring, which is the fourth week, which will be about four weeks from now. At 50%, you can get the Forza Edition R500 Caterham. At 80%, you can get the TVR Tuscan. And then through a championship, you can get another new car, which is the Jeep Wrangler. The brand new massive beastly one. This is another new car. So that is four of the eight new vehicles that we're getting this month. And only four of them are available through the festival, festival playlist. Now I'm going to tell you the other four new cars and how you can get these as well. Another new car we're getting is the Ford Ranger Raptor 2019. This you can just buy in the auto show. As soon as this update is out this week, you can go straight to the auto show and buy this Ford Ranger Raptor. Now before we get on to the other three new cars, well, I need to kind of divert to another topic, which is a brand new Horizon Story. So there is a new Horizon story coming and it is called the Top Gear story. Some of us saw this coming from the tractor that got, well not leaked, but got shown to us last week. We're getting the Top Gear tractor. But essentially the Top Gear story features Chris Harris himself doing actual voiceovers and it will have a total of seven chapters. You can win stuff like the Stig character, which you can have as a character for your character, which is pretty cool. I just said character like loads of times. Along with the story we have three Top Gear related cars being added and these are the last three new cars. One of them is the tractor. As everyone thought was coming we're getting the Top Gear tractor. This will be available through progressing through the Top Gear Horizon story. We're also getting the C63 AMG 6x6 Mercedes. This is another Top Gear related car which will also be unlocked through the new Top Gear story. And then the last new car is the Mercedes, and then the last new car is the Mercedes-Benz Project EAT E350 D4MATIC All-Terrain. This car is also going to be available through the Top Gear story. Some of them will be available straight away at unlock at three stars. Some of them is available through the Horizon Life part of the Top Gear story. But to put it short, you play the Top Gear story and eventually you'll unlock these new cars in the Stig character. Another cool thing about this Top Gear story is we actually have the ability to drive the big truck. You can see it on screen, this big truck is actually going to be drivable now, but unfortunately they've not added it as an actual car. You're only going to have a chance to drive this in some of the Top Gear stories, which is cool, 
but it would have been nice to see it as a car, don't you think? Now let's talk about some of the new features which are going to be added. New features, updates and stuff like that. Class-based rivals has finally been added to the game. I've personally been looking forward to this one a lot. You can now just go to the normal rivals bit and you'll now see all the different classes that you can pick and choose to your heart's content. So finally, class-based rivals is coming to Horizon 4 this update this week. It's finally been added. There's also been a couple of new features to the star card feature. As you can see, for completing each category, you now not only get a flare, but you get another second reward along with that. And the second rewards are the following. A golden chicken suit, a black chicken suit, a gold viking helmet, a rip rod car, which is rare, a PG racing outfit, and the Ferrari 812 Superfast, which is also returning. So for each one of the categories, you'll get one of these pretty cool legendary rewards upon completion along with the flare. Another new feature we've been given is the timeline feature. If you go to your Horizon Life page, as you can see, if you click on each individual one, let's say you click on the speed zones, for example, click on that, you can now actually see a timeline of the future and past rewards that you'll get for upgrading and leveling up this Horizon Life thing, like the speed zones. You can now jump to the future and see what you'll get for continuing to leveling up your speed zones or your stories or your, your speed traps, your explorer, whatever you want, you can now see what you unlock as you go along. Now, as for some new fixes and updates, there has been a lot of retuning in the wall ride fixes. They've actually made wall riding even better, as in what I'm trying to say is if you purposely wall ride, it's going to punish you even more now. However, if it's an accidental wall ride or just a tap, it's going to not punish you at all. So they've really cracked it with this. Apparently, it's going to punish you more if you do it purposely. And if you do it accidentally, there's less chance of it activating accidentally if that makes sense that's good to hear and there's also been some custom adventure changes as well for the cross-country racing and the dirt racing there's actually now unfortunately less presets for you to choose which can which is supposed to make it easier for cross-country and dirt racing players to find a match in custom adventure you don't get as much kind of picking as you want but it's going to be cool you should hopefully be able to find custom adventure games now I've basically just stormed through that. That is basically everything we know about this current update. The new Top Gear cars and the new Top Gear story and the festival playlist features and everything like that. It's a pretty good update in my opinion. I'm very happy with it. We've got some highly requested cars like the big Mercedes six-wheeler and stuff like that. So it's very exciting. We've also got, a, well, a very small bit of information on update 12, what we could see in the future. So I'm going to go through that now. In update 12, which is next month's update, there's apparently going to be a new showcase remix. And from now on, we're hopefully going to get new showcase remixes as we go along, which is pretty cool. And people were asking about the truck that was in the Top Gear story that I just showed you earlier. People want this as a car in the game. Now, they've not done this just yet, but the way they said it, if they get enough recommendations to add the truck as a drivable car in the game, they might do it. The possibility of this is currently very low, but... You never know, we might, might see the truck being added as a car in the future if we request it. The reason they've said that they've not already done it is because the map apparently has bridges that the truck wouldn't go under and it's hard to put it in the auto showing cutscenes but other than that I don't see why they won't add it. But yeah anyway ladies that's basically everything we know about the update. We've got eight new cars, a couple pretty good new features, class based rivals, a new story some mental cars like the tractor and stuff like that pretty good update in my opinion what do you all think let me car let me know what car you're looking forward to the most in the comment section below if you like it, if you've enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content and i'll see you all later